Respect the schedule, kiddo. This story took place about two years ago, over the span of about two weeks. I work in a factory on an assembly line that makes car parts, and my boss at the time was stingy about meeting quotas and people respecting the schedule down to the minute. Let's call him Mike. Now, for some setup, we'd clock in at 7 a.m., work 8 hours, and clock out at 3 p.m., breaks included. We had to do some paperwork both before we started production and after we ended it. Mike was up in our faces from day one about needing to be in at least 15 minutes before our shift started so we could clear the paperwork. The bus dropped us off at 6.45 a.m. and we needed to go to the lockers to change so that was impossible, begin production at exactly 7 a.m., and stop five minutes before 3 p.m. so we'd have just enough time to finish the ending paperwork. But he of course had never done that paperwork himself, and either didn't know or didn't care that it actually took closer to 20 minutes. Now, that paperwork was essential. If a shift didn't do it, they'd get chewed out hard by quality control. And combined with the fact that Mike was strict about the quota, eight hours just weren't enough to do everything they wanted. It was closer to nine hours. But I said, fine, I'll let it slide, and started coming to work with my own car so I could be early and also stay 15-20 minutes over to finish up. I wasn't reimbursed for gas, I wasn't paid overtime for coming early and leaving late, but it stopped the near daily arguments with Mike so I relented. Fast forward about six months and me and my team had a solid routine in place. Everything went smoothly, we mostly met the quota, the paperwork was always done, until one day it wasn't. One Monday morning my car had trouble starting up, and I'd already missed the bus, so I called Mike to let him know I'd be running a bit late. I figured, hey, he noticed I try my best every day and he'd let it slide this one time, how wrong I was. Mike was polite over the phone, but he chewed me out the moment I got in, I was two minutes late, I made it at 7.02. Next time you're late, don't bother coming in. I don't need lazy people working here. That was just one of the nasty things he said, but it's the one I remember most clearly because it blew me away. He used me being late to guilt trip me into working copious amounts of overtime that week, and I accepted just to appease him. I wasn't a very confrontational person, so I always took the path of least resistance in an argument. And long story short, the overtime left me so drained that I overslept Friday and was late again. This time I made it in at 7.03. I should fire you right now for this. I already gave you a warning Monday. Was the first thing he said to me when I came in. Sorry, I was just too tired, I foolishly tried to defend myself. It won't happen again, plus I've been coming in early and leaving late for months, can't you cut me some slack for three minutes? I didn't ask you to do that. He answered, which was a lie since he expressly asked us to come in 15 minutes early every day. Your shift starts exactly at 7am and ends exactly at 3pm, not a minute earlier or later. Got it. Boss, I said, all giddy inside. The next week, I came in at exactly 7 a.m. and left at exactly 3 p.m. Production started at 7.20 and ended at 2.40 a.m. so I could do the paperwork. That, of course, affected our quota, and it didn't take Mike long to notice. We argued over that as well, obviously, but I reminded him of what he said earlier and it actually shut him up. He tried to get me to relent and start coming in 15 minutes early and leaving 20 minutes late again. But I just laughed and said, nope, not my problem, but the story doesn't end here, because of course Mike tried to pull more crap with me. He tried to get me fired for this, but it didn't fly with HR. His write-ups just bounced when he sent him further up the command chain. But he noticed something that I didn't. I clocked in a few seconds after 7, we used an electronic log with individual access cards. So he passed a new rule that he planned to enforce retroactively, only full hours are paid, if you clock in or out too late or early the hour gets cut. He came to confront me about that the following Monday a few minutes after I got in. Hey Exo, I noticed that you clocked in too late every day last week so we'll have to cut five hours from your payroll, he said with a smug grin. This took me aback a bit cause I'd never heard of that rule before and I saw others clocking in at the same time as me, so I just stared at him in shock. He clearly derived pleasure from this, thinking he finally bested me. I'd have my pay cut for my insolence. I also checked and found that you clocked in five seconds too late right now, he continued. So this hour will also go unpaid? I asked. Yep, he said, nearly ecstatic by that point. Awesome, I answered with a shit-eating grin. See you at eight. I turned and left, grabbed a coffee and a sandwich, and I waited in the break room. Mike came after me ten minutes later and finally apologized, asking me to return to work. 
So you'll pay me this hour? I asked. No, you clocked in too late. Then I'm not obligated to work it, I said. Fine, it will be paid, now get back to work, he relented. And the five hours from last week, I demanded. Cause if not, I'll leave five hours early today to compensate. He looked like he was ready to strangle me with his bare hands, but he accepted. I got back to work, those hours were paid, and we returned to our normal routine of me coming in early and leaving a bit late. And Mike never bothered me for being late a few minutes ever again, though it was a rare occurrence. For the two years I worked under him, until he left, I still worked there, I was late maybe three more times. But he couldn't stand my guts and actively avoided me after that point. I know that this story isn't very impressive, but I'm still proud of it and still brag about it to this day whenever funny stories from work come up in conversations. Now, none of you heard this from me. In the United States, clocking in and out is a formality in timekeeping, on hourly. As long as you can prove you were doing something essential for the job or even working during a period, you are owed for that time. They have no option, you must be paid for it unauthorized or authorized. Obviously you can be disciplined for doing unauthorized, but they still have to pay you. If you're doing paperwork at 15 minutes before shift that is necessary for the job, congratulations you're working and you must be paid for that time even if you aren't on shift, and your state labor boards will be very interested to hear from you. Edit. Fixed congratulations to congratulations per you, Barry McCockner 76. I'm glad that you eventually stood your ground and stopped his bullying. You sacrifice far too much bending over backwards to avoid conflict. I really hope you learn to set boundaries without sacrificing yourself for years first. Why would you go back to coming early, staying late after all that? Once I get the seconds late issue sorted I'd be right back to 7-3 to be honest. It's also nice to hear HR bouncing the write-ups. So in the end you won this battle by successfully having your employer continue to commit wage theft. Not paying you for startup and shitting down, I don't think you won here. We returned to our normal routine of me coming in early and leaving a bit late. So you went back to 35 minutes of unpaid work every day. If so, that would be, after calculating for 1.5x overtime pay, the equivalent of leaving a 10.9% bonus for the company every year. 35 minutes times 5 days a week, times 52 weeks, times 1.5 for typical overtime rate, divided by 60 to get hours, divided by 2080 to get percentage of full-time equivalent pay for the year. I sincerely hope that you are getting paid for that 35 minutes a day if that is the case though. Nice work, op. I've found that true victories at work often come with getting a problem person to avoid you. I snapped it a peer, who has since failed up to manglement, and she hasn't initiated a conversation with me for over a year. It's bliss. Bye bye Mike. Not very impressive. You convinced him to pay you hours he had his heart set on cutting out, I'd say that's pretty damn impressive. You. are Epic. I'm sorry for you or anyone who has to put up with crap like that just to make money to live their life. This is abuse. Colon opening parenthesis. It was good to hear that you stood up for yourself since you stated you're a non-confrontational type of person. You or anyone else should not let this sort of shit fly. Again, wheel done. Oh it is impressive that you could mire though with this Mike guy. And he started avoiding you after that. Perfect. All these stories are the same. Op working for free, which is illegal and stupid, and then sticking it to the man by working the hours they're paid. I mean gosh, you really got him there. I think the real sucker in these stories is the person who volunteers to do slave hours for zero pay in the first place. No one should ever ever do that. Exo, plus one, Mike, and in Finn. GG Mike, see you in the next life you grumpy old bastard. If he won't pay the seconds into the shift, tell HR to look at all the unpaid overtime you did and demand it be paid. I'm sure the hours early will outweighs the seconds late. Started coming to work with my own car so I could be early and also stay 15-20 minutes over to finish up. I wasn't reimbursed for gas, I wasn't paid overtime for coming early and leaving late. That's wage theft, isn't it? The company is making you work without getting paid. Mike is on a big power trip. Fuck Mike, with a railroad tie wrapped in barbed wire and sprayed with hot pepper sauce. You went back to starting early and finishing late unpaid. I'm sorry but you lost that one bud. And who won here? The company won because Op did overtime free for 6 months. You gave up 30 minutes a day 5 days a week plus started paying more for car maintenance and gas than riding the bus. So you basically cut your own hours worth of pay anyway for this guy. 
damn. But hey the story fits the sub lol good job. Fuck that guy. You get paid for any work. People like you are why companies screw everyone over. Stop working for free. Learn your rights and workplace rules. And this is the reason why after learning same things as a young pup I've told all bosses, managers for last year to bash it where the sun don't shine. You pay me to start it, this, time. Not 10 million before for a pointless meeting daily. Normal compliance. You got scared and continued working free hours for them. This is definitely a good story of getting your jerk boss back with malicious compliance but. Op. You gave that company hundreds of hours of free work just so that they would get off your back. That makes me sad. You sound like you have a really good work ethic but why do that at your own expense? Good for you standing up to a bully. But please for the rest of us, stop working for free. You being willing to show up early and leave late is literally what has created douches like Mike and the greedy corporations that are ruining our planet. Stop giving your time to them for free. Labor theft is the biggest kind of theft. You need to pay for work, including paperwork. If you're hourly, that's not something you do before clocking in. It's your job so it's included in your hourly pay. Don't let them get fat off your hard work. Sounds like Mike needed to learn a lot about being in charge. Just because you get the job as the boss doesn't mean you know what the fuck you're doing as the boss.